Hey, David and Nick at Presence Videography. Our next sea kayaking adventure takes us to Vancouver, Canada, one of our favorite cities. We paddle out of Vanier Park, all the way up False Creek to Science World, then out to English Bay Beach where we take a rest stop, across to Kitsilano Beach, and back to Vanier Park where we pull out at the boat ramp. It's a beautiful, clear, cool day in late September, and we're at the Vanier Park boat ramp at 10 a.m. Vanier Park is a great place to launch, with lots of free parking spaces, even at 10 a.m. on a Saturday morning. The cost of parking is $13 Canadian for the whole day, and the boat ramp is really wide, and we had it to ourselves to launch. This video is in 4K ultra high definition, so check your viewing settings for best quality. The first part of our trip took us from the boat ramp at Vanier Park, past Granville Island, along the south shore of False Creek, all the way out to Science World. False Creek is a nice sheltered inlet suitable for all levels of kayakers. There are kayak and paddleboard rentals available at Granville Island. The main thing to watch out for here are boats, which is easy enough if you just stick to the sides of False Creek. Conditions were mild, with just a light wind of one or two knots, near low tide, and no noticeable currents. The first bridge you pass under is the Burrard Street Bridge. And here we are coming up on Granville Island. This is like a super farmer's market with lots of restaurants and great places to eat. Here we are coming up on the Granville Bridge. Those little aquabus ferries are super useful to go across False Creek, even if you have a bike. But you need to keep an eye out for them when kayaking. That building on the left gets the award for the weirdest building I've seen. Looks like a chunk is missing out of the bottom right corner. We passed some cool houseboats along the south side of False Creek. The view of the city skyline from False Creek, which is on the south side of Vancouver, was definitely a highlight. We passed several marinas on our paddle along False Creek out to Science World. Tell me if I'm going too fast. Is the pace okay? Yeah, it's all right. At this point, we're near the Spruce Harbor Marina, about halfway to the end of False Creek. And here's the Canby Street Bridge, the final bridge we go under before we get to the end of False Creek in Science World. This area of Vancouver has really grown up over the last 20 years with lots of new apartment buildings, parks, and a nice seawall. We did an e-bike ride around Vancouver, including Stanley Park, False Creek, and all the way up to Spanish Banks. It was an awesome ride. I'll put a link in the description to the video of our e-bike trip. Yeah. 
Near the end of False Creek, we paddled past the BC Place Stadium. There was also dragon boat racing going on near the end of False Creek. Definitely no lack of exciting things to watch at this end of False Creek. Near the BC Place Stadium we found Little Beach for a rest stop. It was a nice place to relax, take in some sun and watch the rest of the dragon boat races. In part two we paddled back along the north side of False Creek all the way out to English Bay Beach. And we're just passing the Harbour Convention Center there on the left. Interesting building with a skybridge sort of architecture. Passing back under the Canby Street Bridge. I know. It had like a boardroom in the back. You can just imagine the kind of multi-million or billion dollar deals they're making in that thing. I'm just loving that breeze. It's keeping us so much nice and cooler. Another interesting building in the distance. Bit of a warped architecture. Strong presence by the Vancouver police. Everyone was pretty well behaved from what we saw. Just coming up on the Granville Bridge here.
nice shot of Granville Island across False Creek, popular as always. And here we're going under our final bridge, the Burrard Street Bridge. And here we're coming up on Sunset Beach, facing west, so great place to view the sunset. Nick, look at this heron. Beautiful shot of a great blue heron looking for some lunch. Not sure what that seagull is being so noisy about. The water was really clear near the mouth of False Creek. We paddled past this huge barge that got washed up on the beach during a storm. And here we're just approaching the corner. On the other side is English Bay Beach. English Bay Beach is a beautiful big sandy beach, a great place for a rest stop, to enjoy the view and get some sun. The third leg of our trip took us from English Bay Beach, a short hop across the mouth of False Creek, to Kitsilano Beach. It was a beautiful day with really calm conditions and no significant waves, even across English Bay. Not much boat traffic either in English Bay, which was surprising for such a beautiful day. And here we are arriving at Kitsilano Beach, a beautiful big sandy beach, although we didn't stay long because we were hungry and on a mission to get some lunch. The final part of our kayak trip was a short paddle along the south shore of English Bay from Kitsilano Beach to the Vanier Park boat ramp.
saw a few paddleboarders on the way back, but there were a few more waves, so probably better to be kneeling like that to lower the center of gravity. Beautiful view of Vancouver from here, with the mountains behind. We passed by Haddon Beach, which has a dog park and looks like a great place to play fetch and take your dog for a swim. Nice little beach there called Teetotaler Beach, which is on the north side of Vanier Park, and just around that next corner is the boat ramp. and just coming up on the Vanier Park boat ramp there on the right. And we pulled out at about 12.40 on a sunny Saturday afternoon, and still the boat ramp was empty. What a pleasure. Thanks for watching. What a fantastic kayaking trip. So much to see. This is definitely our favorite kayak spot around Vancouver. And such a beautiful day, too. The whole round trip took us about three hours at a relaxed pace with a couple of rest stops on beaches. What other kayaking spots do you know around Vancouver or the Pacific Northwest? We welcome you to leave comments, questions, and updates in the comment section. If you like this trip, you should definitely check out our e-bike ride around Vancouver. We went around Stanley Park, Falls Creek, and all the way out to Spanish Banks. I'll put a link in the comments. You may also want to check out our other kayaking trips from all around the Pacific Northwest. We are continually releasing new videos too, so be sure to subscribe and you'll get notified as we release new ones. Kayaking is fun in a group. If you have any family or friends that would be interested in this video, we'd love you to share it with them. Thanks and happy kayaking. Bye for now.